Good morning and welcome to our morning inspiration Thursday, March 14, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today and may he continue to show you favor and may he be with you and your families. Our reading today comes to us from Exodus chapter 2, reading verse 11 to 15. And it says, And it came to pass in those days, when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren, and looked on their burdens, and he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way, and when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian, and laid him in the sand. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together, and he said unto him that did the wrong, Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? And he said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me, as thou killest the Egyptian? And Moses feared and said, Surely this thing is known. 15 and last says, Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses, but Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh, and he dwelleth in the land of Midian, and sat down by a well. Amen. Let us give God thanks this morning for his holy words. Now, this morning lesson is one that we should pay keen attention to. The reading states that children of Israel was in Egypt. In fact, they were in slavery. And as we know that Moses was also living in the palace. So he was adopted into the royal family. And the possibility exists that he could have become a pharaoh himself. Now, he went out one day, Moses, and he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave or one of his Hebrew brethren as the reading states because Moses after learning of his origin and learning about who he was he now identified as a Hebrew and not as an Egyptian so he was more connected to his Hebrew brethren than with the Egyptian family that he was adopted into and so when he saw this incident, he took it upon himself to intervene and he killed the Egyptian master and buried him in the sand and saved his brethren, saved the Hebrew. Now, the second day he went out again and he saw this Hebrew brother with, fighting with another brother. And he asked the question, why are they fighting? The Hebrew responded by asking if Moses was going to kill him just like he killed the Egyptian. And of course, by saying this, Moses realized that he was in trouble because the fact that the Hebrew was speaking of the situation like this, it means therefore that someone saw him or maybe the same Hebrew brother tell somebody who tell somebody. But the, the fact is that the information was out there. And so he realized that he could not stay in Egypt anymore. He had to run. Now, the thing that Moses did, do you think that was the right thing to do? To kill the Egyptian because he was saving his brethren? Of course not. That was the wrong choice. Noble as it may seem, he should have found another way. Regardless of how it might have turned out, he should have found another way. Because the Bible says that we should not kill. And as a Hebrew, he should have been setting an example. But he made the wrong choice. Maybe in the spur of the moment, but it was still the wrong choice. Maybe he wasn't thinking straight, still the wrong choice. And many of us, we find ourselves in situations where we have to make a choice. And a lot of us make the wrong choice. Some of us tell lies to get out of situation. And I'm speaking here, especially as a Christian. We tell lies to get out of a situation. And we think that no one is watching, but someone is always watching. And eventually, the truth will come to light. So whatever your choice is, when you make that choice, make sure you make the correct choice. Because even if nobody sees you, you God sees you. Remember what Moses did? He looked all around him to see if anybody was watching. If he was doing something right, there was no need for him to be looking around. Because what? It is something good that he's doing. But the mere fact that he's looking around, it means that he knows that what he's about to do is the wrong thing. And so he's trying to cover his track to make sure he escapes. And on top of that, after killing the fellow, 
he buried him in the sand so he tried to hide his sin you and i know that we can't hide our sin that sin will always find a way to come to the light that's how it is and so it makes sense to just do the right thing in the first place okay don't matter the situation even if it is your life on the line do what is right even if it is somebody else's life on the line do the right thing and i know these two are two extreme cases but they are not impossible and i know a lot of us sometimes make decision based on situation that is similar to that okay i'm gonna tell a little lie because it will cause me to keep my job or cause this person to keep their job okay i'm gonna tell a little lie because i don't want this person to get into trouble and the list of things goes on that we do that is not correct in the name of doing something for somebody else that we think is good or that we believe is good but then you can't start off wrong and expect to end up in the right way because when your boss find out say is a lie you tell when you're supposed to to do something that he asked you to do and you didn't do it and you lie that you did it what you think going to happen you're gonna get in trouble for it maybe even lose your job and not only that god is gonna hold you accountable for that lie and keep in mind sometimes the same people that you say you're helping out by telling the lie is the same people who is gonna tell on you so keep that in mind. So it doesn't matter who the person is. Make sure you take the noble path. Do what is right because the Lord will be glorified in the end. And that is what is most important. So may we learn from Moses' mistake and may we do what is right. No matter how difficult it might seem because God will bless your actions and your effort. Okay, so have a wonderful day and God bless you. Amen.